Hey there! Today we will introduce you to the Change Leads User Trigger, an extremely useful function in optimizing task management and workflow. So let's get started. As you all know, when it comes to the sales process, teamwork is highly crucial. In a sales pipeline, each employee does their own professional part and then transfers the lead to the next specialist to keep the process going. However, in our web agency, the process is fully automated, hence no more wasting time on unnecessary manual actions. So, without further ado, let's see how it works. Here we are on our Strike Web Agency website. Whenever a potential client contacts us, our responsive bot welcomes them with a friendly message. It never forgets to ask some general questions to collect leads and customer data. Here is our potential lead. As of now, it lies in the incoming lead stage of the pipeline. We have to click on it to open the lead card. This is where everything is available in one place. The lead information, contact information, history of communication and more. Once the lead is accepted, it is automatically moved to the initial contact stage and our salesperson, Amanda, is assigned as the responsible user. After some negotiations, when the offer has been discussed and agreed upon, the lead reaches the offer sent stage. Now carefully observe that the lead is being automatically transferred to our accountant Sergio, who prepares and sends the invoice, moves the lead to the invoice sent stage and controls the payment process. Finally, once the invoice is paid and the lead gets closed, it is transferred to the customer service specialist, Tatiana, responsible for the after-sales support. You must be wondering why it seems so easy, but how to set it up? Don't worry, we'll explain it all, step by step. Let's start from the beginning. You need to set triggers to transfer the target leads to the respective salesperson. To do so, move to the digital pipeline by clicking the Setup button. Here you can see each stage of the pipeline, adjust and set automatic actions for them. Now, click on an empty cell under the initial contact stage and choose Change Leads User. Now the configuration window has been opened. The next step is to specify how you'd like the trigger to work. You can choose when to execute. Here we're selecting the trigger option when moved to this stage. Then change the responsible user you'd like the lead to be transferred to. In our case here, we're selecting Amanda, our customer-friendly salesperson. We're also leaving the box checked for change responsible user for linked contacts, companies and other data so that Amanda can have complete information about the lead. And lastly, do not forget to save it all. Now move to the next trigger, which automatically transfers the lead to the accountant once the offer has been accepted. Click on an empty cell under the Offer Sent stage. Choose Execute when an email is received. Then change the user to your accountant. In our case, it's Sergio. Finally, set up the automatic transfer process to the Customer Support Specialist. Click on an empty cell under the closed one stage. Select execute when moved to this stage. Also, change the responsible user and we're changing this to Tatiana. And you're done. That's all there is to the setup. Now you're ready to unleash the power of workflow management by using our change leads user trigger. Stay tuned and see you in the next videos.